Friday night baseball now from the Big A, Angel Stadium of Anaheim. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the Boston Red Sox and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Los Angeles find themselves on a five-game skid. They'll try to get back on track next. Felix Pena will be on the mound for the series opener. What's your take on him, Dan? You know, Matt, he wasn't all that bad in his last one. In a day and age where we don't see a lot of complete games, six full innings in his last one, and if they can score him a few runs, he has a chance to win this one here today. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in, and we are set for Lead baseball here for this Boston. evening. The left fielder, Andrew Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Underway now on a Friday night as the first pitch is swung on and missed for strike one. So, fellas, this Angels team entering play here tonight. They come into this one in need of some kind of spark to turn them around as they find themselves in the midst of a five game slide. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. The 0 1 is a fastball low, and that evens the count at 1 and 1. And not a bad night for baseball and even 70 degrees here at game time. The 1 1. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? Yes, it will. It'll be a leadoff single. Hey, sometimes that's how a rally gets started right there. I know it's a soft liner, not but expected. leadoff man on usually right poses problems. Now to the plate, Mookie Betts. He'll get to take his first cuts here. First pitch of the at bat. And a fastball is in there for strike one. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Good slider there gets a swing and miss. Betts, who's often just referred to as plain old Mookie, he was a fifth round pick back in 2011. I know a lot of people weren't sure what this guy was going to become, but he has blossomed into one of the superstars in the game. What an absolute steal coming out of the middle rounds. And now here's how the visiting Red Sox line up in this that one. Hurt. Nero, give us what you have on this lineup as they start a new series. Well, Maddie, the one thing that jumps off the page at me is the fact that this team leads the league in doubles, putting themselves in scoring position time and time again. Instead of having to get a few knocks, one base hit gets you right back in the ball game. This offense creates a lot of opportunities. Striding forward now is the DH, J.D. Martinez. And what a season he's having. Entering play, leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories. Guys having a monster year, leading in two of the three triple crown categories. Top five in RBIs, if he can improve on that, he has a legit shot to win the crown. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. And set up behind the dish is Clyde Washington, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Yeah, Matty, Clyde's my type of umpire. I didn't mind the low strike zone, and that's exactly what he has. If you're not going to give him above the belt, I'm okay with it. You know, one of the things, I guess, with Clyde is he is a real good low strike umpire. Pitchers seem to like him more than hitters, but one thing I will say, he has a very consistent zone. It's a low zone, but a consistent zone. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. Here's the 1-1. And a changeup here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. The intent with that changeup away was one thing and one thing only. Get a double play ball. Nice job to lay off it at the plate, though. Swing by Martinez, and this is driven to left. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back.
It's a two run shot to straight away left 38th home run of the season for him and that gives the Red Sox a two to nothing lead. Well that ball right there was right up in the happy zone. It doesn't take much to drive one out of the ballpark when you connect on a high pitch like that. The backspin carried that one right out of here. Next will be the cleanup hitter Xander Bogarts and there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. First pitch coming here it is. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Bogarts makes a lot of great contact against left handed pitching perhaps one of the best in the game in that regard but he does have his warts against right handers at times. It's not as proficient at putting the ball in play when it's coming from that side. That one looked like it could easily have gone the other way. There's a big difference between 0 and 2 and 1 and 1. But now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at bat. One and two to the Boston shortstop. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Swing and a miss as he ran that two seamer right by him for the second out. It's never easy to rebound after serving up a two run shot but that at bat was a good indication to me baseman. that he isn't letting Justin. it get to him. He went right after him for the strikeout. Here's the second baseman now Dustin Pedroia as we run you the numbers to see the splits between July and August. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Grounder down the line at third. But this is foul for the first strike. Pedroia, affectionately nicknamed Laser Show, he was taken in the second round back in the 2004 first year player draft. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. And he is in the second with a two out double. You don't think being a starting pitcher in this league will test your resolve? He's already given up more runs in the first inning in this one than he did his entire last start. That's the kind of roller coaster ride that will make you a little crazy. But that's kind of how baseball works sometimes. Now at the plate, Chris Taylor, one of the better hitters in the league this year, currently seventh in the American League in hitting. This season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at bat. It's ball one. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. Up top, it's 2 and 0. Pedroia at second with two down. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. Taylor a two run shot 24 home runs for him on the season as the Red Sox open it up even further it's now four nothing boy not the way you'd like to start a game right first inning you come in you give up two home runs we'll see if he can regroup right here it's not easy to sometimes come back from that
batting seven. Here's Jackie Bradley now. Jackie As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He definitely doesn't look himself to start this one. And this lineup needs to be on the attack early and be aggressive and find a way to stay in this game. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0-2 now. Looks to me like he's trying to make adjustments pitch to pitch up there at the plate, but he's looked completely thrown off so far. Late on the first one, way out front on the second. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. So four runs in the inning, and they come on the strength of the two big flies. On now to the bottom of inning number one. The Red Sox four, and the Angels nothing. Nate Valdi gets the call for game one of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, you take a look at this guy's ERA. Any ERA under four is pretty good in this day and age of baseball. When we have all these high-scoring, high-flying affairs, this guy knows how to pitch. He knows how to control the running game. And most importantly, he's not afraid to throw strikes. But we'll see how he does in this one. And in now, Andrelton Andrew. Simmons. He'll lead things Andrew. off here in the bottom Andrew. half of the first. Andrew. And he starts him out with a splitter for a called strike. Guys, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. We've got to be considered one of, if not the hottest team in baseball right now. Winners of eight of their last ten ball games. Yeah, Maddie, this team is red hot right now. You grab your gloves to run out on the field for the bottom of the first inning, and you got a four spot, a crooked number up on the board for your pitcher. They're feeling super confident about the way they're playing. I'm interested to watch this next pitch right here. He got a swing on a high fastball. I wonder if he's going to pull the old plea sack and climb the ladder. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Now another 0-2. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. And that's the pitch they wanted him to punch out on. A slider down around the knees. That's a good job of holding off on that swing. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Skied into straightaway right. Betts has a read on it. One down. Well, here's a look now at the Batting Angels second. starting lineup. Danny, Not any thoughts? Hitter. Well, I really like what Justin Bohr does for this team. I love watching him hit. He has a knack for getting on base. In fact, he's in the top five in that category in the American League. So expect to see him work some deep counts and hit the ball hard when he gets a pitch that he can handle. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up the dual threat of Shohei Otani. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh, and that one slung through the strike zone that time at 98. 0 and 1. Well, clearly this guy doesn't need many warm-up pitches because he's 98 miles an hour in the first inning. News flash to the offense. They better get it going. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. In there, and he's ahead 0-2 now. I guess he's really trying to measure that fastball in his first at-bat, but you really never want to put yourself in 0-2 count if you could do anything about it. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again. Now the pitch. Lays oh. off that time and it's one and two. Oh. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Right there is a temptation pitch. Power hitters like this are looking for pitches that they can drive. So that may have been one where he was trying to get him to chase up above the zone a little bit. The two two. 
Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Just tied him up with that last pitch. Pretty evident by the swing. Sometimes guys get in that protect mode so much that they're swinging at everything that they see, and they end up offering at pitches that they can't possibly do anything with. Here's the center fielder Mike Trout looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. First pitch of the at bat. And that's taken for strike one. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. Boy, and he rips this ball down the left field line, but just foul. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Angels go down one, two, three. They trail here four to nothing. Stepping up to the plate, Christian Vasquez. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Christian Vasquez. Delivery to him on the way. Down the third baseline. Played on the backhand. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Time for a look at the Angels on defense. And I'm locking in today on defensive extraordinaire David Fletcher. This is a guy that can beat you on the defensive side. He's got great hands, quick feet, great reaction time, loves turning the double play. They love having him out there. Here's Brock Holt now. First offering on its way. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Holt, sometimes referred to as the Brock Star, he was a ninth round pick back in the 2009 MLB draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. And this is why he's struggling right here. He's not able to pound the strike zone early in the count. These guys are finding themselves in serious count leverage situations, and good hitters aren't going to miss. Sent foul again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at two and two. One out, nobody on. Weekly hit to third. Pretty close. Some bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, the exciting left handed bat of Andrew Benintendi. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And that misses ball one. That's by him for strike one. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Hey, I don't know what happened in between innings, but he went down that tunnel with a few of his teammates and some coaches and found a way to regroup because he's been really good this second inning. After going out in the first, I thought it was going to be a super short outing. Count still at one and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Here's another one two. That's a ball. Two and two now with two away and the base is empty. 
this kind of hitter right here we call this guy a grinder what are our grinders they just kind of foul off some good pitches they they lay off the pitches just off the plate this is every pitcher's nightmare a guy that's up there with a plan and not just up there swinging at anything that you throw towards home plate another try at 2 2 down the first baseline Moore has it Moore will take this one to the bag himself and with that comes the end of the inning so a good job for him there to bounce back after giving up four last time around on now to the bottom of the second the Red Sox four and the Angels nothing. Striding forward for his first chance Michael Conforto and he's a guy that's really scuffling at the plate right now. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Now a swing and a deep drive to right. And that one is good. Season as they get on the board, it's four to one now. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup, so home runs, a solo home run right here, it's not the end of the world. Into the box now, Justin Ward. As he'll take a look at ball one. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Fouled away. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Get it ready, big boy. This guy's throwing three digits right here. The best way I can help the fans is 90 to 92, you can usually see seams. 92 to 95, it starts to really quicken up on you. Over three digits, you're seeing a white blur. Uh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. So here's how the Bo Sox are positioning that themselves exists. defensively. Nope. And how lucky is this pitching staff looking at this defensive alignment? Two gold glovers in the outfield in a day and age where everybody's trying to hit the ball in the air. Look for everything to get caught today. Here's Justin Upton now. Back on Wednesday, it was a one for five performance for him. First pitch on its way to Upton. And that misses inside 1 and 0. That's the kind of pitch that reminds me of many reasons why I wasn't a very good hitter. This thing was inside and coming in hot, and he just gave a stone cold take. I'm bailing out of the way if I'm in the box, no doubt about it. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Upton, originally from the state of Virginia, he's a veteran of 13 years at the major league level, which really points to the consistency he's shown since he first broke in. Yeah, Matty, no kidding right there. I'll tell you what, the grind to get to the big leagues is so hard. Guys just want, they just want to spend a month, a day in the big leagues. So to put yourself here for 12 years screams to your ability to adjust and be a great teammate. And now for the Angels, Zach Kozar. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. And now pitch on the way. Fastball in there for a called strike. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Hey, I got to commend him a little bit. Lead off homer, and now he's one pitch away from getting out of this inning without any further damage. Frozen for strike three, and that retires the side. But the Angels draw a bit closer thanks to the solo home run. We've played two, the Red Sox four, and the Angels one. Stand in to open things up here in the third. 
First pitch coming. Here it is. Popped him up. Kozart is under this one. One pitch, one away. So with one gone in the inning, we'll take a look at where these guys sit in the standings, and I think they can pretty much start to think about next year because they are well back in the division race. Here's J.D. Martinez. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball run. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile, but hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Uh, started to go down after it and he couldn't hold back. It's strike one. Four to one's our score here in inning number three. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Uh, ball and two strikes now. This will find the wall deep in the corner. And he'll reach second now with one away. And they've had some good at bats against him all game Forza. long. It, it seems like Vander. it's just been hard Forza. hit after hard hit. As we take a look at his line here, the numbers do not lie. This has not been one of his better outings, and he'd be the first to tell you that. Here's Xander Bogarts now looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's one and one. The 1-1. One, one. Leonard in there for a base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third, so they're runners at the corners now with one away. Well, last time this guy had some success, but he can't seem to get it going here. In fact, he's given him more hits in this one than he did his entire last outing. And we're only in the third inning. Dustin Pedroia and scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. From the stretch, line drive to center field. Is there? Let's see if they test it. And boy, I thought they might have had a shot of scoring him there, but they put up the stop sign with two away now. That's one of those tough look outs that'll drive you crazy as a hitter. He drove that fastball, but couldn't get it down, so he has to take hard contact as a consolation. In now, Chris Taylor, as he'll take strike one on the inside corner. Two on, two out for him here in the third. One ball, one strike. And now we see a right-hander up and throwing in the Angel bullpen. Oh. Had nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Well, I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here. So the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. Now the 2-1 is swung on and missed for strike number two. Runners at the corners, two men out. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a two-seamer, and the inning is over. Lost in strands a couple, but they lead it 4-1.
Kevin Smith will be next as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A ball and no strikes. And it's fouled away. Now the one and one pitch. Hit well on the ground to first. And a step on first for the out. Three unassisted. And with one away, we'll bring you a look at the current division standings. And you can see these guys have their work cut out for them if they want to make noise in the division. now David Fletcher it was a two for four effort for him in Wednesday's game ready to deliver here's the first pitch fastball just misses that's ball one popped him up Bogarts is calling for it makes the play and there are two gone now And now is Andrelton Simmons. It was a fly out for him to start the home first. First pitch coming. Here it is. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0-1. That pitch is in triple digits. I think he had to take that one because I'm not even sure he saw it. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. Throwing to second. And he's able to hustle oh, he his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. When it looked too bad, I thought it might squirt up. Hugged the line and found no, its man. way into the corner. Ball oh, might be a little bit closer oh, to play at second, but he cruised in there with relative ease. Next up, the two-way Japanese import, Shohei Otani. 0-1 the count. Two out here and a runner at second. Skied into very shallow right. Betts waits on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Danger averted following the two out double. We're back to Friday night baseball on the show after this. Start of the fourth upcoming but first Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Well Matt I talked with manager Alex Cora during the break about his thoughts on the Red Sox hitters to this point and flat out he was very pleased with the quality of their at bats. They've already put four runs on the board and they've done so by running up their opponents pitch count. So he said he thinks they're going to have a lot more opportunities to score because of that as the game goes on. Okay thank you Heidi. Settling in now Jackie Bradley Jr. He's the all spot. for one thus far. The center fielder. Jackie Bradley Jr. Here's the first pitch to him. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Been a real big struggle for him so far on the mound. Four runs and only three innings. So it'll be interesting to see if he can settle in at all and make some adjustments or if this start will continue to run downhill. The wind up and the 0 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Still no balls and two strikes. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Oh, 
not close with that when it's way above the strike zone. Kind of pitching him backwards in this A.B. Soft stuff early. Then those last two were fastballs trying to get it right by him. Here now the 2-2. And he fouls this one off. And now the count is full for the Boston center fielder. These are the kind of A.B.'s regardless of the outcome. You go back to the dugout as an offensive player and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Leading off the inning your job is to get on base and set the table for the inning. That was a pretty good at bat and then he pushed the count to three and two and made the pitcher work. But I think he'd like to have that three two pitch back. Pretty sure that was ball four he went after. Standing in now Christian Vasquez as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball one and all Vasquez stands five nine as you see him in the right handed box he's a five year vet at the major league level into his wind up here comes the one oh and I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did it's ruled a strike. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. Four to one our score as we play inning number four. The two two. Count remains two and two. Ready with another 2 2. Outside and a full count, 3 and 2. One thing to take note of is how these last two batters have really driven up his pitch count. He's had to use 14 pitches already on them, and he's not even through this guy yet. 14 is near the top end of what you want to throw in a complete inning. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Two up, two down on strikes in this the inning. He looks really 12. sharp out there, guys. Striding in once again, Brock Holt. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. First delivery to him on the way. Oh. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. And it looked like ball two below the knees but it's ruled a strike and that evens the count at one and one. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. When that thing goes whistling into the stands you hope someone brought their glove and is able to get leather on it. The one two. Misses for the second ball. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. Four runs, six hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Looks at a fastball low here, and it's full three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Still. 
He's just having a hard time putting this guy away. Four foul balls in this A.B. I don't think this pitcher has got something that he can get a swing and a miss on. And this one misses here. A close pitch on three and two, but Clyde Washington rules it ball four. Now Man, that's, that's just painful for a pitcher right there. A 3-2 offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. Stepping in now, Andrew Benintendi. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. A hit and two tries for him so far. One and one. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. Holt leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. You know, I kind of see why his ERA is so high coming into this one. He's just putting these guys in too many good hitters counts. That'll catch up with you real quick. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs. And now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. Now here comes the Angel skipper on his way to the mound. And he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So as he leaves, I would imagine these fans would not be much pleased with his performance here this evening as he certainly was not sharp. Noah Ramirez answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Assignment here is he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. Here comes the first pitch. And they start him with one high and away for ball one. And a breaking ball falls in there for a strike. It's one and one. Hey, I don't blame him right there, giving up on that inside curveball, little front hipper. That's a tough pitch. You just can't figure out where the point of contact should be. Two down, runners at first and second. This is on the ground over to first. Scooped up, and the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Boston strands a couple as they hold on to a 4-1 to lead. So digging in now, Mike Trout 0 for and 1 for him here in this one. First pitch of the at bat. And he lays off there 1 and 0. One and one to count. Here's one that barely misses off the inside corner, two and two. Hey, I appreciate the fact that he's making him throw a few pitches. Most of his teammates have been hacking at everything that comes their way. Here now the two-two. Freezes him on the inside, strike three. 
great spot on that 2 2 fastball. You can't place it on the, the right inside fielder, corner any better than that. And as a hitter, Marco. there's just not a whole Good lot you can do with that unless you're looking for it and time it just right. Love seeing a guy that can work the inside with his fastball. Into the box, Michael Conforto. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Conforto behind a ball and two strikes. One ball, two strikes. One run, two hits, and no errors to this point for the Angels. He struck him out as well, so he's carving right through the heart of this lineup as there are two away now. Certainly not showing any signs of intimidation with these middle of the order guys. That's back to back K's, and the three and four guys are harmlessly back in the dugout. Two gone now for the Angels in the fourth, and the big left handed hitting first baseman Justin Bohr will bat next. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Two out nobody on. Hit back up the middle. Backhanded. Throw in time and the side is retired. Angels are gone in order. They trail it four to one. Set and the pitch. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Up and going back. A leap and he's got it. The impressive play for the first down. That was a pretty spectacular catch right there. A lot of guys mistimed that jump because they're worried about the wall coming on. But he got it just right and hauled it in. Great stuff. Into the box now, Xander Bogarts. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. He's one for two in this one. in the air to straightaway left. And this is handled easily, so quickly two are gone here to start the fifth. There's a look at the final line for the Angels starter, and clearly he was off his game this evening. Well, you could see right from the get-go that he didn't bring his A game, had a very difficult time getting through the lineup, and as a matter of fact, wasn't able to even get out of the fourth inning, so the bullpen's going to have to do a really big job Finishing out the rest of this game. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Changed up on him and dropped it in for a called strike. Well, if you can throw it for a strike consistently, a first pitch changeup is effective. Hitters are almost never looking for it. Set and the 0-1. On the screws to shortstop, but caught to retire the side. Down in order go the Red Sox, but they lead it 4-1. Welcome back to Anaheim as we check in with Heidi Watney. 
Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Angels' offense with their manager between innings. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. And Good go. stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Thanks. No left fielder. First pitch coming, here it is. And a check swing here, but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Here's a splitter that's taken for a ball in one and one. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. And Upton can't connect there as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing the strikes, but how the about the amount base. of strikeouts? And what's that. even more impressive, Come no on. walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. Standing in now, Zach Kozart. As he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The 1 0 home is laid off for ball two. Fifth inning here in a 4 to 1 ball game. Too high, and it's three and zero. Oh. He's had command of his pitches all day. Hasn't walked a soul, but we find ourselves in a three-ball count here. Want to see how aggressive he gets in the zone? There's ball four. Well, he loses him there, but that's just the first walk he's given up, along with a couple of hits. So his command has been pretty solid so far. Digging in now, Kevin Smith. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Lays off 1 and 0. One and zero delivery, and that's off the plate and high. Two and zero now. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty, but hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Two zero count. The pitch. Nope. Three and zero. David Fletcher will be next. Here it comes, the 3 0. And he misses again here. It's ball four. And that's back to back walks here with one away. And time will be called here as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit. Digging in, David Fletcher. He flew out in his last at bat. He's set. Here it comes. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. One-0 -oh count. Here it is. And ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside. One and one. Toward the gap in left center. And that's going to get.
get down out there. And they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet. Now but the bases are loaded stop. with one away. Nice piece of hitting right there. Looked like the guy on second had to respect it and freeze a little bit. They had to freeze there for a second to make sure that line drive gets down. But eventually does get to third base. In now, Andrelton Simmons. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. A hit and two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Angel shortstop behind in the count at a ball and two strikes. Hey, as an offense, you do your homework, you scout. He hasn't been using that pitch an awful lot. I say you just throw that out. If he's going to flip that occasionally for a strike, then so be it. This is line to left. That's in there. Base hit. And the run is in to score from third. Now a good throw comes into the infield, so that'll force the second runner to hold on over at third base. You never yeah, want to beat a pitcher that breaks a guy out of a slump, but this guy Go was ahead. too good. You knew it was a matter of time before he started barreling baseballs. That gives him a multi-hit game, and I'm sure he's feeling good about it. Into the box, Shohei Otani. He swings and sends it in the air out to left center. And Intendi in pursuit. He gets there, and that's the second out. And there will be no attempt to score here as the bases stay loaded with two gone now. After the angle. So striding the in, field. Mike Trout, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second wow. with a base hit into the outfield. Delivery to him on the way. First pitch is a cutter looked at 0 and 1. Getting that first pitch strike is really important when you're dealing with the bases loaded behind you. Good job to give himself the advantage there. Good cut fastball that time and he's in control now 0 and 2. He put himself in a good position jumping ahead 0-2 with the bases loaded. Now we'll see if he can finish it off. Oh. Now a fastball here that'll wisely lay off and it's 1-2. This is hit to third. Is he going to get out of this? He is. They get the force at second base, and the inning is over. Angels get just the one. Five innings complete. The Red Sox four, and the Angels two. Into the box now. Chris Taylor. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. First pitch coming, here it is. And this is low, ball one. Right hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Too much bite on the sinker, and he's behind 2 0 now. Back to back pitches, they've gone away. Do you tell yourself as a hitter he wants to come in right here? I don't think so. I think he's trying to find that outside corner and adjust accordingly. 2 0 curveball here is over for a strike. That's evidence of a pitcher and catcher being totally in sync out there. That tells me they both know that's a good pitch for him right now. Here's the 2 1. 
Sinker misses there, and now he's in trouble three and one. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. He's set. Here's the 3 1. That's the pitcher. The perfect figured it was a base hit. Yeah, but then the shortstop right comes out of nowhere to make the diving stop. That was incredible. Into the box now, Jackie Bradley Jr. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Late one ball, one strike. Bradley waits on the one one. Drilled on the ground is short. And the off balance ball beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Two men are gone now in the boost in half of the sixth. And from the on deck circle into the batter's box comes Christian Vasquez. First offering on its way. And he takes ball one. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Fletcher takes it in. Well, on the board takes care of him, and that ends the inning. So they go down without a whimper here. To the bottom of the sixth we go. Four, five, and six coming up. The Red Sox four, and the Angels two. Michael Conforto will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning as we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run and help get this offense rolling. Field shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. In tight at 93, ball one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. Misses for strike number two. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. The one and two pitch. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. I know it's a guessing game, but usually when you flip that coin, it better come up fastball at this level. You cannot be late right there. That was right in the wheelhouse. Bradley, patrolling center, makes the play down, one out. Good First contact base. to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a oh. hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Standing in now, Justin Bohr. Yes, he'll pick on the first pitch and line one back up the middle, and that's a base hit. You think there's any justice in the game? Watch those two at bats. So Both of them hit Double on eight. the absolute screws. One's Double right eight. at one guy, and then one's a single. Up Go figure. There. In now, Justin Upton. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Oh, for two for him to this point. Go, 
One and no pitch on the way. On a great pitch there, caught him reaching. It's one and one. We're in the sixth inning now of a four to two ball game. Here's a ball out towards straightaway center field. Bradley is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. So it's a runner in first with two men out, and that'll bring in the former All Star, Zach Kozar. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Line drive to center field. Bradley is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Angels leave one, still down by a count of four to two. Back here at Angel Stadium of Anaheim. Red Sox on top in this one as we get set for the seventh. But first, here's a look at our game summary to this point. Your Dan Jennings please. is on to pitch now from the bullpen now to Angels. start inning number seven. Number 46. Dan. Up for the Red Sox. Brock Holt can lead it off here as we begin inning number seven. Here's the first pitch to him. And this is taken outside for ball one. The 1 0 home. High fly ball out to straightaway center. There to take it is Trout, and that's out number one. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Andrew Benintendi. One for two on his line so far in the game. From the stretch. Lefty against lefty here as this is taken for a ball. One and all. A swing by Benintendi, and this is driven to deep right. Andrew Benintendi leaves the yard with a solo shot. Home run number 16 for him on the year. And just like that, it's now a 5-2 ball game. Ball's jumping in this one. That's the fourth to leave the yard so far. Matty V, this is kind of a mini home run derby, d -Row. Ball flying out of the ballpark today. Just great approaches by both lineups today. We were around the cage during batting practice. Both were super confident, and it's coming to fruition today. Into the box, Mookie Betts. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. J.D. Martinez will stand in here, but before he does, let's take it back to the very first inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. He's set and the pitch. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Back up the middle. And that 
gets in there for a base hit and his third hit of the game. Dan, with that single, he's now three quarters of the way to the hitting back. for the Number cycle. Two. Toughest one Good still shot. on the shelf, though. He's got to get a triple. Oh, yeah, that dude said it, Dero. That's one of those that's either got to hit right down the line or one of those tweeners in the gap. He has enough speed so he can find a gap or find one down the line. Maybe he can do it, and he's going to at least get one more bat in this one. Stepping in now, Xander Bogarts. One ball, no strikes to count. Martinez, the runner at first with two gone. Two balls and no strikes for Bogarts. Well, 2 0 oh now, and this is where he makes his money. If he gets a pitch to hack at, you can bet he's not going to hold back. Down low, and the plot thickens here. 3 and 0. Oh. If I'm managing this hitter right here, he doesn't even have to look down at the third base coach. You know he's got the green light. He's one of the best hitters in your lineup. That one's in there. Three and one. Got to believe he had the green light in that situation. Two outs, 3-0 count. This guy can certainly handle the bat. That's a perfect situation to let him loose. But I love the fact that he's key holding a certain area. Oh, and he snags it out of midair, and that ends the inning. The Red Sox tack on one more thanks to the solo home run. Bottom of the seventh inning coming up. Get up and stretch. 5-2 now, Boston. Standing in, Kevin and Smith. It was a walk Angels. in his last trip. The catcher, Kevin Smith. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. Swing. Will be taken in out there at short, and that's the first down of the inning. Ready now for LA. David Fletcher. He's working on a one for two games so far. First delivery to him on the way. And this misses outside and a bit high. One ball, no strikes. 5-2 our score as we play inning number seven. Runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. That's back to back breaking balls away, but now he's got himself into a little bit of a tough spot. You probably can't throw that again, so your opponent is probably up there just looking for a fastball that he can drill. Now the 2 0. Swung on, but it's pulled finally right the third. Into the windup, here's the 2 and 1 pitch. And he pulled up in time, but it's a called strike two. Bases are empty, one man out. Grounded up the first baseline. Holt fields it cleanly, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Andrelton Simmons. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. Here comes the first pitch. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0-1. And a splitter here, but he had a bit too much on it as this bounces up to the plate. Two out, nobody on. The one two. Line drive to left. And he stretches out and left, but this is off his glove. Hey, I can't fault the pitcher right now, but he better make an adjustment. This guy came into the game ice cold, but after three knocks, to give him another chance to beat you seems foolish. Here comes the Red Sox manager up out of the dugout on his way to the mound and a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. 
So he'll head for the showers as he stands to win this one if the bullpen can find a way to protect his three run lead. Your attention, please. So now, with a left handed hitter Boston, waiting, they'll go to their own left hander out of the bullpen. Alex. Lodio. impossible to throw a base runner out that gets a lead that big and plus this catcher's not known for having a cannon of an arm. Two is ball taken two. for ball two. That's a good but risky take there on 0 and 2. Some umpires have no problem ringing you up on a pitch that close. The 2 2. A swing and a ground ball to third. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2 and 2. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Okay. Three and two now. With the meat of the order due up next, you can probably expect to see something you can handle here with the full count as the two-hole hitter. Now the three and two pick is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Angels strand one, and the deficit remains five to two. Cannon Middleton has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0 and 1. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D. Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts right. jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. This is in the air out to right field. Conforto is in pursuit. He's down and records the first down. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Right hander against right hander as this is a ball one and oh. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Fastball called strike one and two. And they'll try to get him fishing there but he won't offer in the dirt and it's back to even at two and two. Here now the two two. Fastball right back to the mound. And they'll just flip this on the first for the second out of the inning. Stepping into the box, Jackie Bradley Jr. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. 
first pitch of the at bat. No balls and a strike to count. Oh and one here it comes. Changed up on him and he gets the inside corner for strike two. That misses one and two. Awfully frustrating for a pitcher. You make a close pitch like that, that just barely misses. Whoo, that's a tough one to get back. Got it. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Red Sox go down one, two, three, and it remains five to two. Joe Jimenez is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom now, half of the eighth. Boston, number 77, Joe Jimenez. Now with the play, Mike Trout offered three to this point. Yeah, and not this game so far. He's such a good hitter. We all kind of expect him to pick up two or three hits most of the time. That's not really how baseball works, though. First delivery to him on the way. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. This is the big out to get right here. This is their best hitter. He's a great hitter, and he's a guy that kind of spark plug. He gets this team going. So if I'm on the mound right now, you really want to try to get this guy out to hopefully keep them from getting a potential big inning started. Waiting on the 1 1. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. The 1 2 is looked at for ball number two. Full count three balls and two strikes to the Angels center fielder. Jimenez has thrown a little over 50 innings and logged in with an ERA in the low threes. The 3 2 pitch. This is lined to left. But this will hang up a bit too long as it's taken in chest high for the first no out. Well, he hit that ball pretty well, but the only problem was that he pulled Good off it go. just a bit. The location was a little on the outer half, so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. Conforto. As with one away, he won't catch up with the fastball, and it's 0-1. Hey, let's not sugarcoat this. This is a huge half inning right here. They have to find a way to score a few runs. They do not want to face the closer, needing three runs in the ninth. That means game over. One ball, one strike, the count. We're in the eighth inning now of a 5-2 ball game. Bottom part of the zone, a good changeup gets the call. A good fastball that backed him off the plate, and then some slow stuff down and away. That's one of the classic ways to mess up a hitter's timing. Up and in, down and away, textbook. Still one and two. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. That's a pretty impressive pitch from a young arm like that. If you can spot your pitches there and advantage counts like one and two, you're going to have a lot of strikeouts and soft contact. Ready once again, Justin Bohr. And they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, that's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen.
first offering on its way. Oh, and that one slung through the strike zone that time at 98, 0 and 1. And that misses one and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. This is in the air to right. Betts has a read on it, and that retires the side. Angels go down one, two, three. They trail five, two. Luis Garcia enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Digging in once again, Christian Vasquez. He'll be charged with trying to get on board leading off the ninth. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Off we go in the ninth as the first pitch misses for ball one. Garcia features an absolute power slider, and he uses it a lot. He throws it hard and gets a lot of late movement on that pitch. Yeah, Matt, and this is one of the reasons why this guy is so hard to square up and get the barrel of that on. He throws hard, and this slider that he throws, it, it takes a sharp break down, and it's really hard to get the barrel on it. You'll see lots of swings and misses, and he can throw this pitch three, four times in a row and still make hitters look bad. One and two to the Red Sox catcher. The one two and it's fouled away. He'll try again one two and another foul ball. Ready to deliver the one and two. The one two offering looked like a slider that time but it's two and two. Back to back sliders away. Now I think you have to think about running something hard in. Not a good idea to throw a good hitter the same pitch three times in a row. Here now the 2 2 is looked at and the count moves full. You do not want to walk the eight hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt them over to second with the nine hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. Fletcher backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. Stepping up now, Brock Holt. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First offering on its way. Starts things with a splitter outside for ball one. Action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. Line drive to left. Into the slide, and he comes up with a great catch for the second out. a slick play out there as we take a look at it on show motion he was charging in quickly and he slides to get under the ball just before it reaches the ground and gets the out well done into the box now Andrew Benintendi as he'll swing and send a chopper out to second throw on the board takes care of him and that ends the end they're still out in front, five to two. Your attention, please. Now Ninth inning safe situation Sox. coming up now as they'll entrust Craig Kimbrell with the Craig. baseball here as he'll try and close Kimbrel. things out. Just out there. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Hey, not impossible, but highly unprobable. Even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy, they've got the work cut out for him. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. Kimbrell has tossed over 30 innings so far this season with a dominant sub three ERA, good by anybody's standards.
Ward. And a good heater as he just watches this baby a ball and a strike. Kimbrell, once a member of the San Diego Padres organization, he became a member of this team after signing as a free agent earlier this season. Yeah, he didn't have an opportunity to really get acclimated to this ball club. Showing up during the season is not always easy, opening the doors to a big league clubhouse and trying to get to know your teammates. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And it's gone. today's outcome. Dan, d -Row, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, d -Row, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. Now the 2-0 home. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Waiting on it is Benintendi. One away. So coming to the plate, Kevin Smith. He's over two in the ballgame so far. First pitch coming. Here it is. And a ball, 1-0. No doubt. Some saves come easier than others, and I know this all too well. They're really making wrapping this thing up a difficult task. The 1-0. Swing and a ball lifted into straightaway center. Bradley is there, and he makes the catch for the second out. Ready for another chance. David Fletcher. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And this ball's in the air to left field. And this should do it. And he'll put this one away. And the Red Sox have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. Well, that's not exactly how you draw it up. He gave up a long ball to make it interesting, but it was the only run he gave up, and he hangs on to collect the save. And this evening's contest comes to a close. 5-3, the final. The Bo Sox put up a four spot in the opening frame on the way to victory. Nate Valdi earns win number seven on the season. Felix Pena couldn't escape the fourth inning as he slapped with the loss. Craig Kimbrell records the save his 25th of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show.